Good morning, everyone. Today is November 5th. And I'm um, taking a moment this morning. I was thinking about what I wanted to share today. And the first thing is right here, this beautiful sunrise today, peeking out from underneath the clouds in the city of Chicago. This place that will be the home of El Hogar. I wanted to take that moment to just be able to um, have that sense of how we rise in a new day. Last week, there were lots of different changes going on. And many of you already know about the website launch of puresperanza.org and all the different pieces. If any of you have ever started a business or an organization, know that there's so many different components. And there was a lot of moving pieces last week, aside from personal life as well. So I'm sure that many of you can relate to what that's like when you have all these different moving pieces and how we attend to that. The more we bring our full presence into the moment, the more we can experience the ease. We can feel the breath of being able to assure ourselves a grounding that all is working out in perfect order. And just by being able to really sit in the fullness of that energy, what I call your full presence, we're able to, I would say, dissipate other types of feelings that might cause us stress or anxieties or um, even fear and doubt. All those kinds of uh, thoughts and ideas that are triggered when we get out of the present moment, when we start to attach ourselves to the different outcomes. And it's always so interesting to observe how when we let go of those conceptions, the very things that limit us, even if we do it for the reasons of we're such good planners or we, um, we have goals and people are driven by the goals, um, or we have expectations and we're driven by the expectations. Um, none of that is wrong, but being able to be in the moment and really allow there to be no uh, connection with our purpose in terms of this sense that we fail if certain things don't happen, but being able to trust into the moment. So I say this because as I said last week there were lots of moving pieces and it didn't look like certain things that we were um, wishing for or hoping for were evolving in the way that we had anticipated. And then all of a sudden um, it came to our attention, several of us with, within the organization and um, just being able to really sit with the feeling of trust, sit with the feeling that everything was working out in perfect order. And then all of a sudden, um, it was definitely a sense of release and things just started to flow again. So today, a different day, a different flavor. Um, I'm cherishing the day. I have Sade in the background playing and cherishing the idea of not going astray, keeping in the moment. So thank you all who have been with us through this process. And um, sorry about the moving around going on today. I had a couple of different um, ways to set this up, but just moving with the flow of what feels right in this moment and wanting just to make sure that I express a gratitude from all of us here at Pier Esperanza, all the people who have watched 
us grow, who have been with us, uh, in many ways holding hands every step of the way, and of course always to the fullness of the presence and the collective of the of what one would say, um, you know, the whole, uh, whatever name you give it, source, um, just the presence I am, and uh, the reaffirmation that always comes to be able to remember that in itself is a great practice, just remembering and over and over and over again with all the circumstances that we face, being able to really just stay with, okay, I remember. And being able to um, delight, play in the flavors of the day. That's not always easy to do, but the more that we can do that, the more that we find the ease, the more that we find ways to allow the feelings that are charged negatively to dissipate. Fully embracing, acknowledging what we uh, have before us because they show us, they, they show us and guide us. And uh, it's just an amazing thing, all the ways that we are programmed, so to speak, to be so connected to our fullest presence, I am. Again, thank you so much for all that support and love. We're feeling it. I sent out a newsletter yesterday. Uh, there's a, an amazing article in there that has to do with quantum physics and the way we perceive reality. And I'm speaking to you about one reality today and how we perceive our presence and there's just so many different ways that you're contributing. And another article entitled Home, titled Home, um, that you can certainly read and it will touch, I believe, the center for many of us who are already imagining El Hogar, the center here in Chicago to be built. And I'm envisioning many of you there and many coming. So thank you so much for all the ways, again, that you have um, given of yourself and kindness. If you haven't yet had an opportunity to go to the website, please go to purespedanza.org and see what we are building for us all and for the future generations. And looking so forward to all the different collaborations and all the people who've reached out as of late as well. And if you feel so inclined to participate with our fundraiser. We do have five more days left up until Sunday morning, 10 a.m. You can purchase your $10 raffle ticket and have a chance of winning one of three great prizes. Go to the website, purespedanza.org, and you can read more about that. If you'd like to get onto our newsletter to find out all the things that are coming up, please go again to uh, purespedanza.org or on any of our social media platforms you can follow us and you can subscribe from Facebook as well to the newsletter. Thanks again so much for the love and cherishing today with the fullness of that love, the fullness of presence. Blessings. Have a beautiful day.